Okay, this is pretty huge. Graphing functions, rational function. f of x equals some thing that I don't want to deal with on a Monday morning, but here we have it. First of all, if our denominator is zero, then we have an error, right? We, it doesn't work, we can't have that, okay? So we have to make sure that we know that x is not going to be a value that will make it equal zero. How do we do that? Set the denominator to equal zero. So we have a zero equals x minus two. Get rid of the two on both sides. Get x by itself. Two equals x. Okay. What this means is that if x equals two, then there's no solution. Okay. What that means on a graph? Here's a graph. One, two, three, okay. At this point here, two, forever up and forever down, because there's no solution, that means no line will cross this line, okay? No line will cross this line. It's a restriction. X cannot equal two. That is, no point on this, whatever we have here, will equal two, okay? The restriction, I'll just put this here for now. X cannot equal to, and we found that out by finding this out here. Okay. What this line is called, this untouchable line, is called an asym asymptote. Asym asymptote. Okay, that's called an asymptote. They can go this way or they can go this way. We'll uh, they'll show up as we as we go. Okay, but it's piecemeal. All because the denominator can equal zero. We, right off the bat, know we already have one of those on our graph. Now, I'll just erase this. Use the rewind button if you need it. How do we graph the rest of this thing? Easy. Table of values. Just like before. X, Y. Okay. We already know that we are not crossing that line in any sort of form. I'll just keep doing what I do here. as fast as I can here. Um, okay, if, if we have uh, 1 over negative 5 minus 2, okay, so that's 1 over negative 1 7. This would be negative 1 6. This would be negative 1 5th. Negative 1 4th. You can figure this out uh, on your own here, just trust me on this. Um, This shows us our asymptote point here. It doesn't work. That's our asymptote. Um, this is 1 over positive 1. And this will be 4 minus 2. 1 over 4 minus 2 equals 1 over 2. OK. 1 over 2. One more, That's just for good measure. OK, that would be 1 third. Okay. All I did there, just so you know, is I put whatever x value was, I put it in there, worked out the details, and got my y value. So these are all like ordered pairs, okay? Each one of these things is an ordered pair on this graph that we're going to build together. Yeah, okay. So let's look at this here. Um, it went from 5 to 5, so we'll try it. 1, 2, start plotting our points. I'm going to stretch y out so that we can really see, because we're dealing with fractions here, I'm going to stretch it out and uh, call that plus 1, 
sine of minus 1. So it's not changing the graph, just how it appears. Just touching it up. Okay, minus 5 and 1, 7. Negative 1, 7. So that's if, if 0 0.5, negative 0.5 is there, negative half is right there. So minus 1, 7. Minus 4 and 1, 6. That's a little bigger than 1, 7. Minus 3 and 1, 5th. Minus two and a quarter, minus one and one third, zero and minus one half. Okay, there's our zero and one half. Um, positive one and negative one. Okay, so we're already down here, right? According to our skewed graph. And then uh, two is an error. Okay, so we're not going to get anything closer to two. Look, look at our pattern so far. We have something that looks like this. If we were to pick like um, 1.99 whatever, it would be some astronomically huge number. I want you to try it because, um, for example, if you had this, what that really is going to equal is this. Okay? Now you do the math on this. This is going to be a large number. Right? If you divide something by a decimal, it becomes a large number. That's review. Try it out. Anyways, that's what we get. This goes down to infinity, but never crosses the asymptote. Okay? Similarly, this goes upwards to infinity forever. Alright. Keeping going. 3 is 1 and 1. Okay, so uh, at uh, x equals 3, we're at y equals 1. Uh, at 4, we're at 1 half. So it's 1 half. And at 5, we're at 1 third. Okay, so it appears that this is the rest of the graph, something like this. Okay, so um, just like everything else, all we did was a table of values. Anytime you have an asymptote, if you want to figure out the, the dots that are really close by, use numbers that are really close, like 1.95, 1.80, 2.05, you know, stuff that's close by so you can find out precisely what your graph's going to look like. This is your finished sketched graph. Table of values, ordered pairs, piece of cake. This stuff is grade 8 stuff.